Hello, I'm Rick Morgan, consultant with the Franchise Consulting Company, and welcome to part three of the five-part series, Is Your Business Franchisable? Part one we covered, is it your business successful? Meaning, will it attract investors, potential franchisees? It, part two was, is it scalable? Do you have the systems that can be replicated from market to market and the mindset to grow your organization along with the growth of your franchise organization? Well, part three is, is your brand protected? Think about that. The primary asset that you're gonna be licensing and awarding to franchisees is your brand, it's valuable. So your brand needs to be protected and secured. Think about, and if you haven't done this, follow through, is your business trade name registered with the United States Patent and Trademark Office? If it isn't, investigate that and follow through. Second thing to think about is, do you control the URL of your website? And number three, and this may come up during that trademark search, are there competitors or even businesses in different, completely different industries that have a similar name? I have a couple of clients who they, their brand was a little bit of a play on words, but when they went to register it with the trademark office, they found out a competitor in a completely different industry use the same play on words, which I think is gonna turn out to be a benefit, they're gonna rebrand. So those are the things to think about and, and do about protecting your brand, your primary asset. Thank you, Rick Morgan, consultant with the Franchise Consulting Company, and I'll be back for part four.